this is uh, Naomi uh, before married to the owner of Ife. This was this was uh, Naomi. She was pretty. She was doing well for herself before she got married to the owner of Ife. So people are saying different things, you know. We should be very, very careful how we judge people. So she got the reason why she left her marriage. She She's inside the marriage. We are not inside the marriage with her. She's wearing the shoe. We are not wearing the shoe for her. Naomi was a prophetess before she met the owner of Ife. She was doing well for herself. Naomi, this is Naomi when she has not been married to the owner of Ife, preaching in the church. You know, she's been a, you know, a Christian. She has got the fear of God in her. You know, only her know why she chose to go and marry a traditional chief. Naomi, and before she married the owner of Ife, this is Naomi, you know, doing her own thing. And people are judging her. She went there for wet. She went there to go and grab. She went there to go and get money, make herself fame. You know, Naomi, when she has not married to the to the king of Ileife, to the owner of Ife. This is Naomi. Then she was living a good life as well. She was a happy girl, a happy young lady. You know, before she chose to go and marry the owner of Ife. So every woman, every girl would like to go and marry a rich man. Even nowadays in Nigeria or in Africa or in the whole world, particularly in Africa, where you see young girls going to marry, you know, their, their grandfather age just because of their money, just because of their wealth. So she knows why she left the marriage. She is her choice to, to choose to go and marry the only officer at the first place. It's her choice again to walk out of the marriage. She knows what she has seen. Nobody, we all are criticizing her. Nobody has been in that marriage with her. We all know ordinary marriages will have problems. You know, this is this is Naomi then before she got married to the to the only officer.